So, here is a boy named Felix. His parents notice that something is wrong with him. His teacher says that he tends to be aggressive. They decide that he needs to calm down. They look for a therapist who can help Felix. This is Chris. He is a psychologist and therapist for children and adolescents. After Felix's parents have asked him to help, he meets up with Felix. Chris encourages Felix to talk about himself and his world. He is especially interested in all the different sides of Felix that come out at different times. He calls these different sides parts or modes. Felix, I am really interested in finding out about you, and about all of your different sides, or modes as I call them. Shall we write down the different sides of yourself, that you have noticed? Yes. This is the big Felix. And these are his modes. As we have a picture of all of the different sides of you, let's choose a finger puppet for each mode. Here they are. There is one thing that Felix knows for sure. His favorite is the contented mode. When his contented mode comes out to play, Felix looks like this. And his least favorite is the sensitive and vulnerable one. When he comes out, then Felix looks like this. And this is how Felix rates the popularity of his modes. First one is contented. The second one is clever and wise mode. And then comes aggressive mode. Fanciful. Scared. Angry. And lastly, vulnerable. Let's have a closer look at them. Could you introduce yourselves please? Hello. I go first, to get the least favorite over and done with. I'm a part of Felix that many people consider to be too sensitive. As you can see, I'm already pretty bedraggled. I don't like that at all. Because, in fact, I want to be pretty and strong. However, in reality I'm like a plucked chicken and very very sensitive. A lot of people call me the vulnerable or hypersensitive Felix. Hello from me as well. I am the contented, sometimes happy part of Felix. I come out when Felix feels good, and I look like joyfulness, giggling, and lots of fun and happiness. Good day. I am another part of Felix. In fact, I am the clever and wise part. I know an answer to everything, and know about Felix's needs or what might help him in difficult situations. I usually look after him well, However sometimes I just don't know what to suggest to him. Hi, I am the aggressive Felix. Nearly everyone shies away when I come out. I let Felix rage and yell. This often results in some problems. But he feels proud because no one else is as powerful and strong as me. Hey! I am the imaginative and fanciful part of Felix. When I am there, he is a fountain of fantastic ideas. Well, the others are louder than me for sure, and try harder to get his attention. But without me, Felix would be so bored. And I help him with ideas to solve a lot of his problems too. Oh, I hardly dare to speak. But I'll try. Hi, I am Felix's anxious and scared side. When I come out, Felix usually backs away. He feels insecure and, sometimes he also feels, ashamed and, almost completely loses confidence in himself. After Felix has talked about his modes and assigned finger puppets to them, Chris comes into play as a miniature figure. First, Chris turns to the scruffy, bedraggled raven the vulnerable Felix, and comforts him, soothing the pain from all the difficult, horrible times he has experienced. 
He provides the vulnerable Felix with a big patch. What would help you to feel better right now? At last, someone is taking care of me and noticing all my pain and struggles. First of all, I simply need your attention and comfort. The others don't even care about that. Chris sticks the patch on the raven's upper body, like a medal, as he replies. I would very much like to give you my attention and comfort. I'd also like to help you get to know a bit more about your vulnerability and sensitivity. So I can help you to understand more and even feel a bit better about yourself. Would that be okay with you? Yes. Chris begins to explain to him that his vulnerability is actually a special gift. A superpower called the Super Sensor. This superpower lets him feel what others are thinking and feeling, and also to notice if anything is wrong or unjust. Chris presents Felix with an antenna labeled Super Sensor as a sign of this special gift, this superpower. The vulnerability or sensitivity, which many people have made out to be a bad thing, has now become a positive sensitivity, a Super Sensor superpower. This already sounds much better to Felix. And because the Super Sensor has done such a good job and reported all the injustice that took place in the world, now I give you an award. The Golden Antenna. He is really proud now. However, Felix does not like to brag about things, so he decides to take the award off and place it out of sight. He knows about the award, others don't need to see it, and it is more important to him that the wounds are well protected. Therefore, a bandage is placed over the patch, so that everyone remembers that he has already been through a lot of injustice, and that he must be protected by others. Now that the vulnerable and sensitive part is protected, Chris introduces himself to the rest of the mode team. He would like to get to know the other parts better, and asks a couple of them to come to the interview podium for a mode interview. First of all, he learns from the aggressive Felix that he prevents Felix from feeling like a misfit in class. He lets Felix roar and rage, in order to gain more respect from the others. Chris thanks him for his openness and also for trying to gain respect for Felix. However he makes clear that Felix will get into a lot of trouble. And that the respect is not so much respect as fear, and because of the fear, many children will be too scared to get close to Felix. Then Chris talks to the angry Felix, who made friends with the aggressive Felix in order to draw attention to himself. Unlike his parents and teacher, Chris praises the presence of the angry mode. In fact, feelings of anger are a natural reaction to injustice. These are at least partly legitimate. Otherwise, if he only expresses his anger through the aggressive Felix, he will always be the stupid one and especially the culprit. Then Chris turns his attention to the anxious and scared Felix, who is scared of looking like a fool in front of the other children, and becoming a victim. He focuses on reducing how often the anxious and scared part comes out, while also helping angry Felix to make friends with, and receive support from the other modes. Now Chris turns his attention to all the other modes, and calls a mode council. It's like an inner family meeting, where all the important things can be discussed openly and safely. The mode council mainly discusses the vulnerable Felix who is wounded, and in need of protection, and certainly does not deserve to be laughed at or ignored. And it is discussed that the vulnerable Felix has to be acknowledged as a super sensor, thus as a very important source of information. Without him the other modes would have no idea what kind of injustice is happening in the world out there. And that vulnerable Felix does not want to be the weak and unpopular mode all the time. That's just not fair, because he is doing such an important job and doing it so well. And that he needs everyone's help when he has something to say. A basic rule is made, there is always a reason behind vulnerable Felix appearing. For example, when the big Felix is hypersensitive in class. And in order to figure out the reason, he needs help, especially from the clever and wise mode. The angry and anxious Felixes both add that they sometimes feel left alone. And that is when they ask the aggressive Felix for support, because he will definitely do something, 
unlike the others who don't respond at all, or only just a little bit. But this aggressive mode is really just an emergency mode, and needs to be kept only in case of an absolute, complete, dire, catastrophic emergency. The contented, imaginative and especially the clever and wise mode explain to the aggressive mode that they are going to take more care of the vulnerable, fearful and angry modes. And they apologize for having neglected the vulnerable, fearful and angry modes in the past. Then all the modes come together, lead by clever and contented modes, who celebrate the importance of the vulnerable and sensitive mode. Everyone agrees that the raven can wear the golden antenna with pride and celebrate his achievements. And, after a long long time, the vulnerable Felix finally feels that everything is okay with him. That he is not a pushover, loser or hypersensitive person. But he also understands now that, he must learn to ask the others for help when he experiences injustice in the world outside. Thus all the modes can come together as friends, as a team lead by the clever and wise mode, and all together can help to do something about injustices. At the next meeting, his teacher told Felix's parents that their son is now able to articulate his needs in much better way.